Hey guys, this is Suha. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. So today I'm going to teach you how you can create button and rivet using Illustrator and you can use this on your fashion flats and fashion illustrations. As you can see, I have used them in my denim pants and these are quite useful. You only have to make them once and you can save them as symbols and use it over and over again. And I'm going to show you that as well. So this is going to be a very useful video. If you guys want to see, then keep on watching. And if you're new to my channel, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So without any further ado, let's move on with this tutorial. So I have downloaded this denim texture from the internet and I'm going to be working on top of it so you guys can see better. So you want to make these buttons right next to your fashion flags that way you have a nice proportion and when you are going to make a symbol out of it it's not too big and it's not too small so you have the perfect proportion. So make sure you are working next to a fashion flag Right now, I'm not doing that because I already did that and this is just a demonstration to you guys. So yeah, so first thing I will do is select the ellipse tool, create a circle. Holding down the shift key will make sure we have a perfect circle. Now I will give this a fill color and we already have a stroke of, I guess, 3 point. I think we're gonna give this 3.5 point. Yeah, that's quite good. So now we are going to select this and we're going to go to our gradient tool and click on the gradient. So this gives us a gradient effect and make sure the type we're using is radial. We don't want a linear gradient for this. So now what we're going to do is we are going to click on this gradient slider and here's we're going to change our location a little bit. We can do the same with the other one, bringing it down a little bit maybe. We can add one more if you want. Yes. You can manually change this in here or you can do it here. It's totally up to you. We have this effect. Now what we're going to do is select that and go to our scale tool and click twice will open up this window and make sure your preview is on and we're going to uh, create another circle uh, let's say we want it to be 65% and 65% preview is on and make sure you click the option copy that's going to copy a new circle Okay, so we have our button and we if we drag and drop the middle portion, this is our rivet. So that was pretty simple, you guys. It's really easy to make. Uh, so now we can select this one and create one more and just play around with the colors to get uh, a brass effect. And let's try to do that. So we select this one and we're going to select this slider first and we're going to go to RGB mode and select like a green type of a shade and then we're going to come over here and again go to RGB mode and we are going to select a brown type of a shade. Basically, I think that one's good. And we're gonna delete this one. And right now, we it does not look like a brass, but we are gonna make sure it does. So, it's just gonna bring it a little bit farther. It's actually you need to play with this a little bit in order to know, in order to see what works best, you know. There's no perfect formula of doing this. It's just I was playing around with it and 
that's how I found it. So we're going to select this one, take the eyedropper tool and click on this. That's going to give us the exact same gradient on over here. Let's try to put this inside and see that's, uh, that's a bit too much green actually. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring this up a little bit more. And we are going to maybe make this green a bit more dark because I feel like it needs to be a little bit dark. And just you just have to play around, see what works for you, things like that. There's no perfect measurement to this you see okay so there's our brass button we can do one other thing we can click on this and bring down the opacity a little bit okay maybe not that much we can click on this and we can bring down the opacity to a little bit more and there you have it now you have two now we have a silver one uh brass color and we also have a rivet now i'm going to show you how you can create symbols out of it so let's go to our symbol library which is here and it's actually quite easy first we're going to delete all of the default ones don't worry they'll come back they are there if you're thinking uh, we are going to select Let's say we select this one and we're going to drag and drop it here. There's new, there's our new symbol creation box and let's call this silver button and uh, click OK and there's our new rivet. Let's do one more and this one is brass, OK. Here's another one, and that's our revet. Let's call this revet and hit OK. And there we have it. There's our symbol. Let's hide these ones and let's see. Uh, okay, so let's see. Oh, there you go. So, yeah, as you can see, it's really nice. You can also drag and drop, drag and drop. And there is your buttons. Let's say you want to save this symbol library and you can go to this. You can go to this icon over here and save symbols. You can call this denim buttons and save. Okay, let's say you delete this ones and you go ahead, you can delete this one as well. Uh, delete instance only and then you can come over here and user define there is your new symbols that you have created so i hope that was helpful if you guys want to see more of these kinds of video then feel free to comment down below and i have a new video coming up on how to do whiskers effect in denim pants so if you guys are interested to see that make sure you're subscribed to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye.